To truly make it, you have to not care about what your family, friends, or peers think about you. Greetings, everyone. I am Obleron, the Lord of Love and the Magister of the Cube. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of the Magister Sanctum. There is only one you, and there is only one you that has everything that you have to offer, that has your perspective, that has your talents, that has your abilities, and we are all shards of a greater being. Now we live in an age where it is far easier for people to be their true authentic selves than it is to, 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 to look for acceptance from the outside world. We have more tools at our disposal, we have all these social medias to, to post to, and we have, well, h- half of the people on the planet, which is roughly over 8 billion people, half of those people are online. So you only really need a small fraction of all the people on the planet, I mean we're talking fractions of a fraction of a percent, to be able to make a living. And we have not been at that point at, at, we have not been in these times at any other point in human history, but we're still held back by our old tribalistic mentalities. It's it's very interesting that even though we have all this opportunity and we have all of these tools at our disposal, that we are still held back by the old demons and the old ways of life which no longer serve us. And for the people who, who can reach out, for the people who who know that that this is true who who know that we can we can be whatever we want online now the whole world is going to open up to them if you have something to offer it offer it to people speak your truth no matter what it is and it doesn't matter what what you have to offer because someone out there will appreciate it. And I find that what holds a lot of people back is the people who are supposed to be quote unquote the closest to us. What holds a lot of people back is their own fears about what those people who are closest to us will think. And the bottom line is what they think doesn't even matter. Because people who will be on your side will be on your side no matter what you do and no matter what you say. And people who will hate you and who will criticize you will do that regardless of the facts of what you do or what you say anyways. So you may as well just be yourself. Um, Case in point, I'm a business owner and I... It's interesting. It was when, when when I moved to this valley, a lot of people were complaining. A lot of people were backstabbing me. A lot of people had nothing nice to say. So I invested a lot of money in the local community where I lived. I literally built with my hands a studio, uh, a teaching and recording studio to serve the community. And as I was building this studio, people were still complaining about me. People were never satisfied. People were still going behind my back, saying all the the wicked things that they say. And when I had to close the studio, people still complained. So those people who will complain, who will be those undercover haters, who will always be negative, Well, that's just who they are, and it has nothing to do with you, just like how it has nothing to do with me. And the the real test of your willpower 
is to not let their hate get to you, is to not let their negativity get to you. Because the more that you internalize it and the more that you absorb that, the more that you too will fall victim to that poison of hate, to that poison of negativity, to the gossip, to the slander, to all of the things which make life very unpleasant. So it doesn't matter. Again, like I said, there is only one unique you. There is only one person on this planet out of all 8 billion of us that has your perspective, that has your wisdom, and that has your abilities. So just be you. I know it's really tough because from the moment that we are placed into kindergarten, we're always taught to look for external validation. We're always taught to look for external validation in our peer groups. We're taught to look for external validation from our teachers, to look for external validation in our grades. You know, we're, we're taught to, to um, go into the college majors that are quote unquote practical, that, that will make you money essentially. And let's face it, the only reason why people want you to make money is so you don't become a liability to them. That's all it is. So it's it's really for selfish reasons that, that, that we even teach children these things. But the reality is, again, we have more tools at our disposal to make a living, to support ourselves, and to live a fulfilled life. Now, it's not going to be easy. I mean, the moment that you start to to go down the content creator path or the moment that you start to develop a talent, you also have to find ways to support yourself as well. And sometimes, especially when, when you go into, let's say, the creative fields, there's a lot of times when the floor can fall out from under you. In my lifetime, and I am 44, in my lifetime... The floor fell out from under me at least a good at least a good four times where I was hit by a train wreck of all of a sudden now my finances are next to zero and you just got to roll with the punches it's going to be messy but at the same time a person can get laid off or get fired from a job at any point any point for any reason and it doesn't matter how much of a good worker you are it doesn't matter what your job performance is if they can't afford you they can't afford you and you're gonna get cut loose which is why it's important I think going into this brave new world that we're in that we all need a side hustle regardless of what our jobs are or how financially set we think we are because life can life can change at any moment you know people who who can make a million dollars a year can still go bankrupt this is what a lot of people don't know it's all about your burn to earn and if we are not mindful of how we treat our money and and how we how we how we live our lives it's very easy to to lose it all so Again, the way to create stability for ourselves is to have multiple streams of income. It's to never rely solely on just an employer, on, on one employer. It's, it's to never rely on just that one degree that you got and you only look for jobs in that particular field. Look within and look at everything that you have to offer the world and offer it. Use your wisdom, use your experience. It And again, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. People will listen. If you have something to say and it comes from the heart and you're being your authentic self, people will listen and they will find value in what you're trying to do. Now, it's also not just about 
being able to find your inner voice, but you also have to be mindful of how to monetize that. And again, there are multiple ways. So pick your strategy. What do you have to offer? And then do a quick Google search on how to monetize that. Everything is at our fingertips. Everything is in our phones. It's in, it's in, it's in the palm of our hands. And this, again, like I said, this has never existed at any other point in human history, except for right now. So if you want to make the most and be fulfilled and be heard, take the leap of faith. Know that someone out there is going to find value in what you have to say or what you have to produce. Don't be afraid to do it. Don't compare yourself to other people too. Um, I, I'm, I went to school for jazz. It's really easy as a musician to to always compare ourselves to some other person. Like, oh, they, they play this, I don't play that. Or they play in this style, I don't play in that style. Or they can play so much faster than me or, or, or whatever it is. And it doesn't really matter. Because again, it's all about your perspective and it's all about what you have to offer. And once you take that leap of faith and once you offer it up, I guarantee you that you will feel so much better about yourself and about your situation. And it doesn't matter what your coworkers think or what your family thinks or what other people in your field think because it is something that you are giving to the world. It is you being your authentic self and projecting that into the world. So find what you have to say learn how to monetize it, and just, just do it. As the famous slogan goes, just do it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found value in what I had to say. And now we shall close with the chant of Obleron. Thanks again. I love you all. Aum Dei Sote, Aum Dei Obleron. Aum Dei Sote, Aum Dei Obleron. Thank you for joining us on today's episode. If you resonate with what you are seeing or hearing, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share Obleron's content. It really helps him to spread the word and to grow his channel and pages. Collective readings are posted Mondays on the High Priestess's Circle. Teachings are posted Wednesdays on the Magister's Sanctum, and the music from those episodes are posted Fridays on the Empress's Theater. Posters and merch related to Obleron's teachings are available at obleron.square.site. Music from the episodes is also available at obleron.bandcamp.com. Obleron is spelled O-B-L-Y-R-O-N. Lastly, don't forget to connect with the community on Discord. It's called the Magister's Council, and look for the invite link in the description boxes and profiles below. There are astrology and wellness bots, as well as games and discussion forums available for free. There is also an exclusive members-only section with additional content and live streams for subscribers. Obleron also takes inquiries for services through Discord. In case you missed anything, all the links are available in the description boxes and profiles below. Thank you everyone, and much love to all.